What makes an eight healthcare institute different from other clinics? Very common question we get. Um, one of the, the, the first and foremost thing is we were the first private clinic in the US to use live umbilical cord tissue derived uh, stem cells for private clinic use, treating patients. Uh, umbilical cord tissue derived stem cells, not blood. Um, so we should probably, we could probably break down the difference of what those are, but there's, you can get stem cells from all kinds of different sources, bone marrow, your fat tissue, uh, umbilical cord blood, a placenta. Um, there's lots of different sources. So we were the first in the US to start providing uh, from umbilical cord tissue um, as in the private clinical use. Um, so that's one big thing that sets us apart. I think a second one is, is our use of using integrative medicine. And that goes in our, it kind of goes with our clinic name, uh, Innate Healthcare Institute, Stem Cells and Integrative Medicine. Uh, it, it was functional medicine before, but I think integrative is a more appropriate term because we apply other areas of medicine in addition to these um, fascinating stem cell therapies functional medicine, naturopathic, Chinese medicine. Um, so that's why it's a very kind of an integrative approach uh, with the labs we run, the treatments that we're doing. And that's another big thing that sets us apart. Um, overall, it's a kind of a complicated answer. It could be really complicated because you don't know what every other clinic is doing. And you don't know what every other lab is doing because we get that asked a lot what's the difference between you and such and such clinic in like Mexico or, or Panama or, or BioAccelerator and uh, what are, where are they at? South America somewhere, Colombia, I think. Um, and I said, well, first and foremost, like the price, like a lot of these overseas clinics can charge some outrageous prices we've noticed. And so our ethos was Americans need to stay in the States for these kinds of treatments. It's more convenient. Um, it's easier to travel. Uh, to, to, to have multiple treatments, to have your care overseen by a doctor versus going overseas for like one treatment and then just hoping that cures all your ailments. Um, from a lab perspective, whereas uh, Dr. Singh, Indy's uh, more profession, um, it's hard to say like why our lab is different than over an overseas lab because you don't know what they're doing. Right, right. But we make cells in the lab here. And we know, and we count the cells, and we check their viability. Uh, they're almost 99 percent viable cells. Mm -hmm. So that's what we inject into the patients. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So we, you know, we there. You could read several different research papers and find different methods, methodologies to call treat cells, right? Um, so we don't know what other labs or clinics are doing. So we can't answer 100% as to how we're better necessarily or if we're different, but you know, everything we've done here, we've been doing for years, great results. Um, our reviews are good. People are happy. Um, you know, it, sometimes it's, it's harder. It, it's not easy. It's, they call it practicing medicine for a reason. We don't hit home runs out of the park every day with every patient, but we're, we're diligent and dedicated. Yeah, we do with utmost dedication and uh, we believe in ourselves and I'm sure yeah. the patients also believe in us. Yeah, and I think a lot of the patients do. Yeah, they do believe us. So what would you think would be a big difference or what questions would somebody ask? If you were a patient and you called like a clinic overseas somewhere and you said, what's the difference between you and, the, and another lab? Probably the, uh, the patients will ask you um, the how these stem cells inside the body will expand, mm -hmm. target the tissues mm -hmm. you need it, yep. uh, such as brain, heart, uh, other tissues in the body. Yep. And if there is any damage, they, they go fill in and repair the damage. Yep, that's a good, that's a really good point is how is it gonna be administered? Because I have heard that as kind of more of like a marketing kind of a gimmicky use sometimes where a, a patient will go talk to a clinic, you know, so I won't, I'm not going to name it. I'm not trying to call anybody out. Like you call it, you'll call a clinic and you'll say, oh, well, the rep there said I have, I have severe back pain and they said I can have an IV and all the sales would travel to my back. And it's like, mm, eh, that's a little, uh, 
Yeah, some research shows that you can put cells intravenously in either the cells or their parent, their secretions. Um, the medicine that these that, that these cells are secreting out into the bloodstream or to the into the cells surrounding them, it, it might you might get some benefit, and people have for sure. But I think that you're you also are talking about like what's the probability? It's a lot lower chance that you're going to get a huge benefit from getting an IV for back pain than if you just had somebody that's experienced with orthopedics inject the cells into the back because then they're right there, they're local, they're at the problem site. And you don't have to go through this thing of like, well, are they gonna go through the, the heart, the lungs? Problem areas are avascular. They don't have a rich blood supply usually. So that's another area you got it. A good point um, of how we're different is our administration methods. We like to target as close to the a solution th that we can. So if it's an orthopedic problem, we do an orthopedic injection. If it's an autoimmune condition, you know, we like to put the cells in the bloodstream or, or intramuscular. Um, if it's a neurological condition, we have a specialized catheter that we use um, that we do what's called an intranasal procedure. Stomach related gastroenterology problems. There's a, uh, a, a technique called a per, uh, intraperitoneal uh, where you can inject the medicine into the abdominal wall and the pyrus patches and the lymph nodes there can pick them up and they can get disseminated that way. So really making sure like we try to target as best we can uh, for the problem. We have an ENT treatment coming up where we're gonna inject the inferior terminate in, the, in a, a person's nose that has chronic sinus pain and pressure after having a surgery. Uh, so I think that really separates us and makes us unique compared to other clinics is we're, we already, we have this ability to have these live stem cells and let, how do you use them? So using them appropriately is, is very important as well. Well, the basic science and clinical research indicated that these stem cells do migrate uh, to the target tissues mm -hmm. that they are required and that they do expand. Yep, which is why um, we've, we've seen progress with yep. lung, liver, heart, you know, these kind of internal conditions to where I get like some research shows that and then uh, you think like, overall the answer is like, well, we don't know, completely understand the mechanism of action. Artist. Yeah, yeah, that is huge. Yep, some some kids take a lot longer than others. I was, I was looking for my phone because we just got uh, some feedback on one of our kids this morning and it was exactly that. I think it had been a couple months after their first treatment and playing with toys, engaging um, f appropriately with their their school, their lessons and their and their toys and stuff like that. She said she had noticed a lot more in her son. Um, so why are we better, or why are we different or better than most than some other clinics? We have uh, very experienced and. Uh, uh, well-recognized uh, physicians here at this institute, mm -hmm. especially Dr. Travis Whitney has a lot of experience and uh, he picked, hand-picked basically experts in this field. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, definitely... Like you. Uh, and other, other, other... Yeah, I like using, I like using people that are trained to do a special job. I think I got this from a little bit of my ar army training where it's okay to know a little bit of what the other person's job is, but you have to have, like you should have your specialty and you should know it backwards and forth. And I get calls saying, well, I went to clinic, you know, X, Y, or Z. I got a stem cell, I already did a stem cell treatment. Why didn't it work for me? And I go, oh, let's pick that apart. Did you actually have stem cells? What kind of stem cells? How many stem cells did you have? Who, how was the treatment applied? I'll never forget this one patient. She went down, sorry, Mexico. She went down to a clinic in Mexico. I don't know the name, I can't remember the name of it, but she said, I, got a, I had a back in treatment and the doctor injected the cells in my back. And I said, well, how many? And she goes, oh, I don't know. I just got the injection and that was it. I said, one, like you got one injection? And she said, yeah, uh, I, they, they said I would just need to inject in your back. And I'm like, you have like severe lumbar problems, degenerative discs, facet arth arthritis, like you got a lot of problems going on back here. 
and they only did one injection and she said yeah i said well who was the doctor that did it and she goes well they had a gynecologist there but they said that 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 she knew how to do an injection and that would suffice and my mind was just like like a cartoon with the steam coming out i'm like what no that's not that's not how you should have done things like uh so making sure that you have the right person that's experienced to do the job um is is paramount um being able to use the live cells that we do um screening the cells making sure that they're you know that they're good live high the appropriate dosage and amounts incorporating other integrative approaches like you know running the proper labs uh doing other integrative treatments uh, so that you make sure the patient is getting what they want you know they, they're not research participants here i'm not doing a placebo dose and and, a, and another dose on somebody else if you incorporate other medicine um it's it's almost like healing is kind of like a recipe like if you can't just pull out certain ingredients and then expect to have the same dish it's nothing wrong is is wrong with in, uh, doing other integrative approaches to have a patient heal holistically and is the best way as possible. Um, so um, using the right type of the, the right cell and the right dosage and using it appropriately, using the right labs and treatments, having the right people to do the job, I think is what separates us from a lot of other clinics. Otherwise, a lot of specifics, I don't know. You'd have to you'd have to call that clinic and see exactly how they're culturing the cells, um, how they're doing the treatments, and then you we'd have to just say, well, this is how we would do it. So thanks, thanks for tuning in. Uh, subscribe for more info like this, uh, and uh, leave some comments on some other videos you'd like down below. And we'll see you in the next video.